So, let's do an exploration of when there was a pandemic simulation as part of this code base. And in order to do this, we need to go back, back in quite some time. And I think really what we should do is start exploring way back in the kind of prehistory of this work. And unfortunately, I think this is probably the wrong way to explore this. I think probably the easiest way is to get the get the GitLab code. thing and put it in here so we can actually see this okay Okay, so let us go back in time. Many, many, many. Let's put this thing up so we can see actually how far back in time we're going. Okay, so what we're looking for here is Bob Mottram. And this is his monkey mind, I think, specifically, when he broke out aspects of the simulation. Um, so that's interesting, that's 2015. We need to go way back, however. And look at where we see Bob's other contribution. Here we go. So, at this point of the simulation, the May, let's see, see where he added diseases. I wonder if we can, uh, can we search this? No, we can't, we can't, we can't. Can we search comments? Yeah, let's see. Disease. Uh, can we search comments here? No. Anyway, let's go back and find them. Let's take Bob's last commit. Where did it go? Okay, so what does the simulation look like at this point? Well, we can open that. I'm not sure if it's going to be good. Yeah, it's okay. So what do we have here? We have metabolism. And so this adds vascular. Do we have diseases at this kind of at this level? Okay, so then we have metabolism description. Vascular components. Okay, so that's where we were here. Sort of vascular simulation. Various kinds of metabolism. So... There was... A series of issues with the metabolism simulation. It's not particularly stable, both in terms of a simulation sense and also in terms of a, a crashing sense, which is why unfortunately it was pulled. Uh, so that's where that is. Let us go back here and look at what was going on previously. Pathogens. Okay, so here we already have the idea of pathogens that we've put in. So 
So this is probably, this is probably a good place to start. Now pathogens require metabolism. But yes, this is a considerably different point in the simulation than where we are currently. Shellfish, seaweed, vegetables, fruit. So also not really clear the status of things. Let's see if we can, uh, where are we, where are we? Here. Let's see if uh, we can build this. Linux minus eight should be enough. So uh, let's get there. Of course that won't work. Uh, so that seems to build. Oh, so we know at least it builds. And let's see if this includes the pathogens and stuff. Uh, the pathogens are located, I think, in universal being. Uh, entity, metabolism, so okay. So we have a good sense that things built at that stage, and the pathogen code was part of that. So we can use this as a, a point of reference, uh, and then work out how we can take the existing pathogen simulation code and put it back into um, the existing simulation. Now the metabolism is interesting because we need to establish whether or not we can add back in the metabolism. But yeah, this is code circa, I think 2002, 2003. So, sorry, 2013. So it should be possible. It's just a matter of putting it all together. So I'm going to stop the video at this point, indicating how we find the old code. <laughs> and hopefully when we next return, the pathogen code will have been integrated or I'll record some war story videos associated with getting the pathogen code integrated.